I look so busted right now but hello 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 everybody i am coming to you today with i don't know kind of like a rant hair vlog discussion i don't know pretty much i look a hot mess it is sunday morning and i am getting ready to wash my hair which is why i look like this like i look so crazy um i didn't sleep with a scarf on last night because i knew i was gonna wash my hair today so i was just like whatever forget your edges who cares who cares you're about to wash it so i went ahead and i just went to sleep on like my satin pillowcase and left it at that and yeah i look crazy but um pretty much i'm having like a dilemma with my hair so a little little teeny teeny backstory i have been natural for almost eight years now um growing up i got relaxers from a very young age per my request my mom was like okay that's cool should have never done that but i did i got relaxers all the way up until like my senior year of high school and right before i went to college i chopped my hair into like a really really short bob and i was like i'm going natural I don't want to relax my hair anymore i think i want to see what my curls look like looking back on old pictures i was like wow my hair was really really nice like this looks cute and i personally always thought um if you've ever seen the movie love don't cost a thing that christina million's hair was banging i always thought her hair was just popping i'm like dang that's so nice like she those curls look so good not knowing that my hair could do that on its own was sitting up here just getting relaxers, being crazy. And so I decided to go natural. Little backstory right there. Um, within that process, I didn't really know a lot because when I went natural, it was what, 2010 I went to college. Yeah, the natural community wasn't as prevalent as it is now where Every which way you turn, there's something about natural hair. It was still kind of popping then. It was getting, you know, started. But it wasn't how it is now where there's so many support groups, so many discussion forums, so many Instagram pages, so many YouTube tutorials. Like, you didn't see that as much back then. So, um, I didn't really know what to do. I was like, okay, well, I'm just not going to put heat on my hair as much. But I was still putting heat on my hair. I was flat ironing my hair. I was blow drying my hair. I was wearing weaves and trying to blend my leave out. I was a hot mess. So my natural hair, like, progress didn't even really start to show until probably, what was that, 2013. So three, a whole three years later, it didn't even, like, you wouldn't even have known I was natural. Um, that's when I really, like, completely cut out uh, using heat and flat ironing and all that. I was, I'm going to stop doing that and to where I would only do it, like, two to three times a year and um yeah curls were popping curls were popping i went ahead and i just kept trimming away at all of the straight hair that i had left or any heat damage that i did have from when i was like flat ironing my hair a lot got rid of that and was just flourishing and then i went ahead and got my hair colored and Yeah, pretty much um, the stylist that colored my hair over-processed it to where it was straw. It was straw and I had no curls at all. So all that hard work I went through, yeah, it was it was done for. Had to pretty much get like four inches chopped off for it to even curl in the slightest. And then had to get back on my healthy hair journey. Healthy hair journey, deep conditioning, doing this, doing that, protective style, and all of that. I had to do it all over again, and then I finally got my curls back. Um, I was very, very selective. I do have color in my hair right now. As you can see, this hair looks so raggedy. Woo! Um, I do have color in my hair right now, but I'm very, very selective with who I let do my color. Um, it's not just anybody. It's not everybody, and I don't do it at home. It's just not happening. Um, pretty much my hair right now, though, is like... I don't, it's doing like as you can see it's just so dry and just so ragged like the colored portion so the top up here this isn't as dry as my ends and wherever my color is and that's like nothing on my stylist part because I've had my hair like this probably for like a year and a half almost two years now year and a half 2016 December is when I got my color put in and so um it was 
like all up here is growing out now but um it was fine my hair i got a haircut it was still curly whatever but lately the color part of my hair is so dry and i do not know what's going on with it like it is so dry no matter what i do and for me um i always have to wear my hair in buns so for work i have to have my hair pulled back and up off of my collar um so a lot of buns a lot of braids a lot of twists anything where i can kind of like put my hair up but for me i don't really like that too much because i feel like i'm always manipulating my curl pattern or i'm always pulling my hair backwards or i always have to put it up and it's very unfortunate so i think that's contributing to what's making my hair so dry but i don't know so today i'm going to go ahead and try some new products i bought some diva curl um so yeah i'm gonna try those Last week, I tried some Olaplex. I was hoping it was going to be the saving grace. It really wasn't. Um, so, yeah, this week, I'm going to try some Diva Curl, try some different methods, try to think of another way to kind of protect my ends and wear my hair to work this week. I do go to the gym a lot, too. So, yeah, I got to think of something. But pretty much, um, I'm going to take my hair down and I'm going to kind of like show it to you guys. And honestly, I'm thinking about just doing a big chop if I can't repair what's going on here. I'm thinking about doing another big chop and just starting all over. So I'm going to take my hair down um, and show it to you guys. And then I'll show it to you guys like after I wash it and after it's dry. And you can kind of drop some comments down below and let me know, should I big chop again? Or can I repair it? Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. I am back, and this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> when it's out of my bun, it looks just so crazy. Um, as you can see, it's still some curls back there because I really don't, like, comb all the way through it throughout the week. I just kind of brush down, like, the top. I'm like... And then I slick it back into that bun, and that's just what it is. But this is what my hair looks like out of the bun my gray hair up here my original this is my like natural brown color and then this is like my colored colored portion and yeah it just looks like a hot hot mess like a hot mess so yeah I don't know you guys I really don't know I'm kind of like just getting sick of it too and I think also it's because like I don't have a shape or anything to my hair I don't have a shape I've been growing my hair like on a length basis like to grow it out and it's pretty long when it's straight and it's like under boob like mid mid waist length it's it's pretty long but the thing about it is i've been growing it out to where it's one length to kind of have that nice straight 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 look when i straighten it but as you know if you have curly hair when you actually wear your hair curly that does nothing for the shape of your hair it looks a hot mess kind of just looks really flat way down there's not a lot of volume because there isn't any layers so i feel like i want to go get some layers cut into this i know it's time for a trim and then just like this color portion is just killing me it's like dry Ugh. just dry but yeah like i said so this is what my hair looks like now i'm going to try these diva curl products get in the shower wash my hair I'm going to come back and like show you what my hair looks like when it's wet and kind of um, talk through. I don't have like a tripod or anything yet, which I'm slipping. I'm slipping on. But once I get my tripod, I'll be doing like more tutorials and I want to kind of like track my progress and let you guys see how it's coming along and if anything I'm doing is improving the state of my hair. So that'll be coming soon. We'll do like a little journey. And by June, if my hair isn't where I want it to be, we're going to go ahead and start cutting. So I'll be back. So I'm back. I'm fresh out of the shower and this is my hair. It's still pretty wet. I tried to wring just like a little bit of the water out because I like to apply my products um, when my hair is like soaking wet. So as you can see, kind of give you just a look at um, my curl pattern. As you can see, the parts where my hair is like dark and it's my natural color, they're a lot curlier than the parts that have my color on it so yeah even when it's wet you can kind of see this is how it looks my hairline 
And so um, I went ahead and I washed with the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence, I think that's what it's called. And then did the same thing with um, the conditioner and I left a little bit of it in my hair just because I didn't get their leave-in. They didn't have it in like the small size. So now I'm about to go ahead and apply the Diva Curl Super Cream. And it uh, says it's Define and Control Coconut Curl Styler. So we're gonna try that. And then I also got the Light Defining Gel, which I normally do not um, apply like gels and things like that to my hair because I feel like I have like a finer texture of hair. And I think that gels weigh it down, but this is supposed to be really light and really, really good. So I'm gonna try it and then I will come back after I show you guys what my hair looks like with the product on to see if it kind of like clumped the curls, let you know how they applied and all of that good stuff. All right, so I went ahead and just came into my room just because the light is a little bit better in here and you can kind of see everything better than you can in the bathroom. So pretty much this is what my hair looks like with um, the product in it. So as you can see, like I was pointing out earlier, the parts of my hair that are darker are way more defined than my hair that's blonde so that's like womp 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 looking like that um so yeah there is still a difference i went ahead and i put on the super cream and then after i put on the super cream i went ahead and put on the light defining gel and i just used a little bit of each of those because like i said i do have really fine hair and i don't like my hair feeling really way down or my curls being stiff you know when you turn your head to the side and you're leaning like this for a while and then you get up and your curls are still stuck in that position i absolutely hate that that is just ugh, like my curly hair worst nightmare so i like when my curls are really free and can move and so like i said i normally don't do gels but we're gonna see so i'm gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry it's probably gonna take about five to six hours, maybe seven, just depending on um, the weather and everything today. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back to you later on tonight to show you what my hair actually looks like once it's fully dried, and then talk to you a little bit about what I thought of the product. So, see you later. All right, so it's about like six, six o'clock on the dot. Um, I'm in the midst of like cleaning up, so don't mind everything going on in the back. But this is my hair about 90% dry. So this is what my curls are looking like. It's still damp, like kind of back here in this little area. Um, my hair is still damp and then it's pretty dry up top. And then it's damp back here in this back area as well. So um, yeah, it's probably gonna take like another hour or so to dry, but I just wanted to come on here and kind of show you guys what my curls were looking like. And so this is what I was saying when I was saying, like, I kind of don't have, like, a shape. Like, it's just, like, like, just flat on each side because, yeah, I don't have any layers. It's just a straight cut. So my hair doesn't have any shape. Um, as you can see, like I was telling you guys earlier, like, this part is just, like, really wavy. Whereas the rest of my hair is, like, really, really tightly coiled. Like, those are, like, really, really tight curls versus this part. So, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Should I try to big chop? Or is this, like, repairable? Is this not repairable? And I should probably just wait and just slowly trim it off? Should I just get it cut in layers and kind of maybe, like, cut it to, like, up to here or something? I don't know um drop some comments down below on what would you do if you were in my situation because the majority of my hair is still pretty curly um this side is kind of the same thing i keep putting my finger over the camera i'm sorry guys this side is like pretty much the same thing like the blonde is a lot looser but it has more definition over here on this side so i don't know just let me know what you guys think i should do probably I'm leaning towards layers and trying to get um, scheduled for a haircut sometime next week. Like I said, my hair isn't all the way dry. It's still pretty damp in the back, like damp, damp to where I wouldn't bother picking it out or anything like that. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of um, in a mood right now, you guys, because I thought I was going to go outside and get some stuff done. I had to meal prep and I needed to go pick up some things from the grocery store. And I went outside and I have a flat a whole flat tire and i am from the city i'm a city girl who does not like to get her hands dirty like that so i don't know how to change a tire 
and yeah i had to call my roadside assistant so i am not doing anything so i decided to come on here now while i had the time since my day is just all thrown off instead of waiting until it was fully dry i was like well i gotta wait for the, the people to come change my tire so hey <laughs> so that's what i'm doing right now that's why i wanted to kind of like pick it out more and show you guys but this is pretty much uh, what it's gonna look like you get the gist of it um as far as like the diva curl products go um they weren't bad i'm honestly like not amazed either but um they weren't bad so for their price point i feel like i should be amazed though okay i should be amazed like thoroughly astounded blown away like wow sis you can have all my coins and i don't really feel that way so hmm but I do like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I do like it. My hair is soft um, from what I can tell. The gel did make it like a little hard. But once you kind of like, you know, move it, I guess it's like that initial, uh, that initial crunch. And then it'll feel a little bit better. But um, for the most part, um, they're not bad. I did notice that it made like the blonde portions. Like it's, it's really, really soft. It's really soft. And um, it did make... The, like blonde portions of my hair when I went outside I kind of looked in the car and they were like shiny like a natural shine to it it didn't look as dry as it's been looking lately and I didn't put anything else on it like an oil to seal or anything like that it's just the diva curl products so um yeah I would say probably like a six and a half seven maybe like a seven seven and a half out of ten I pr probably have to keep using them and like actually let my hair get adjusted to them you know you can't really use anything just one time but honestly for that price point you should be able to use it one time and be like wow so hmm. maybe i'll get my my hair cut try them again and then see how i like them because i i'm pretty sure i need a haircut i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure but i don't know that's pretty much it for me today because i'm in a mood now so I guess I'll just go try to be productive in here. I'm in the midst of uploading another video. So that'll be up before this one goes up. <sighs> but yeah, I guess I'll quit just rambling on. Go ahead. Like I said, let me know. Would you big chop? Would you just do like a layered trim? Would you uh, just not cut it at all and try to like protein it back to health? Or just deep condition it? Or what, what do you think? looking at my hair what do you think it needs just go ahead and let me know i'm up for suggestions i've tried about everything i am a product junkie a product hoarder so there's pretty not pretty much nothing excuse me that you could say that i haven't already tried but um i'm always up for suggestions so go ahead and just drop any products or anything natural remedies that you know of that you think will work um and i would definitely like to try those so just try something new before jumping the gun but Go ahead, leave those down below, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.